Uh, these are some of the finds from the medieval settlement of Keaton, which used to exist on the university campus, uh, nowadays buried underneath Keaton Hill. Um, Keaton as a settlement is first mentioned in 1106 um, <coughs> in part of the foundation charter for Lenten Priory. Um, and we have other textual references to it in the period of 1386-1387 when the village is recorded as having been in ruins. But archaeological campaigns from the 1940s up until 2006 have shown that the settlement was continuously occupied probably from the 11th century um, right way up to the dissolution of the monasteries in the late 1530s. Uh, there have been various campaigns of excavation, um, most notably in the 1950s and 60s by Glyn Kopak, and then by Lloyd Lau, um, formerly of the Department of Archaeology in Nottingham in the late 90s and early 2000s, and then finally by Lloyd Lau and myself in 2006. The settlement itself <coughs> was no ordinary uh, medieval village. It seems to have been the sort of artisan and craft working centre for Lenton Priory. Uh, so the two settlements are very closely linked. And the settlement of Keaton seems to have housed in particular um, a community of potters and iron workers for the Abbey. Uh, <coughs> we get a range of finds amongst the pottery finds um, dating from the primarily the 12th through to the 15th century and it, it, the date clusters really towards the later 15th century. Um, and we have from various sites under the modern biology department and also on Keaton Hill, uh, we have a range of these um, pottery waster uh, vessels. They're basically uh, vessels which didn't fire properly and distorted during the, uh, the pottery firing process. And we have large numbers of these storage vessels, primarily from the 14th and 15th centuries, which indicate a large-scale pottery manufacture for the western part of Nottingham. We also find abundant evidence uh, of um, iron furnaces, largely for iron smithing, and uh, the archaeological evidence indicates that Keaton was producing a wide range of structural ironwork for Lenton Abbey. We also know that the potters, in addition to having produced these rather cool storage jars, also produced a much finer range of tiles for the interior of churches uh, and monastic buildings in particular. And we have um, two of these manufactured at Keaton on display here today. This is um, a 14th to 15th century tile <coughs> um, found at Keaton, and this is a very fine example uh, with an inscription on it also made at Keaton. Now this tile has been subject to analysis by Dr. Edward Faber from the Department of Archaeology, um, which in addition to working on the inscription of the tile, <coughs> also looked at its chemical uh, composition. <coughs> and the inscription actually reads, the holy mind, honour freely, rendered to God and the liberty uh, to the countries. So uh, we're talking about um, religious sort of sentiment and also patriotic sentiment uh, in the later 15th and 16th century. In terms of the um, evidence for aspects of exchange and trade on the site, um, the 2006 excavations uncovered this tiny silver farthing of Edward I, uh, <coughs> minted in the 1290s, and this is the only coin to have been recovered uh, from the site. From the excavations, it would appear uh, that the, the settlement is abandoned in the 1530s, um, very much echoing the demise uh, of Lenten Priory in the dissolution. The actual um, housing and craft working zones of the settlement actually run along the base of Keaton Hill, um, mostly behind the bus stops. Um, taking students to, to different campuses. We know from the 2006 excavations um, that the, the houses along that, um, that road, which must be of some antiquity, seem to date from the mid to late 12th century onwards. Um, 
And finally, the site of Keaton was largely covered in the uh, 19th and 20th centuries uh, during landscaping um, for the construction of the university.